The physical constant epsilon 0 pronounced as epsilon naught or epsilon 1 commonly called the vacuum permittivity permittivity of free space or electric constant or the distributed capacitance of the vacuum is an ideal baseline physical constant which is the value of the absolute dielectric permittivity of classical vacuum it has the value Epsilon zero equals eight point eight five four one eight seven eight one two eight thirteen times ten minus twelve FM minus one farads per meter. It is the capability of the vacuum to permit electric field lines. This constant relates the units for electric charge to mechanical quantities such as length and force. For example, the force between two separated electric charges in the vacuum of classical electromagnetism is given by Coulomb's law. F C equals one four pi epsilon zero q one q two r Two display style f underscore text c equals frac one four pi var epsilon underscore zero frac q underscore one q underscore two r caret two. The value of the constant fraction is approximately nine times one hundred nine n m two c minus two q one and q two are the charges, and r is the distance between them. Likewise, epsilon zero appears in Maxwell's equations, which describe the properties of electric and magnetic fields and electromagnetic radiation, and relate them to their sources. Topic <laughs> value. The value of epsilon zero is currently defined by the formula epsilon zero equals 1 mu 0 c 2 display style var epsilon underscore 0 equals frac 1 mu underscore 0 c caret 2 where c is the defined value for the speed of light in classical vacuum in si units and mu 0 is the parameter that international standards organizations call the magnetic constant", commonly called vacuum permeability. Since mu0 has the defined value 4 pi times 10 minus 7 h per meter, and c has the defined value 299,792,458 meters s minus 1, it follows that epsilon0 can be expressed numerically as epsilon 0 equals one four pi times ten minus seven N A two two hundred ninety nine million seven hundred ninety two thousand four hundred fifty eight meter per second two equals six hundred twenty five thousand Twenty two quadrillion four hundred sixty eight trillion eight hundred seventy nine billion four hundred sixty eight million four hundred twenty thousand four hundred forty one Pi F per meter approximately equals eight eighty five trillion four hundred eighteen billion seven hundred eighty one million seven hundred sixty two thousand thirty nine times ten minus 12 fm minus 1 display style var epsilon underscore 0 equals frac 1 4 pi times 10 caret minus 7 text rm n a caret 2 299792458 
text rm meter per second caret 2 equals frac 625000 22 quadrillion 468 trillion 879 billion 468 million 420441 pi text rm f per meter approximately 8.8 5418781762039 times 10 carat minus 12 text rm fm carat minus 1 or A2S4 kg minus 1M minus 3 in SI base units, or C2N minus 1M minus 2 or CV minus 1M minus 1 using other SI coherent units. The historical origins of the electric constant ε0, and its value, are explained in more detail below. Redefinition of the SI units Under the accepted proposals to redefine the ampere as a fixed number of elementary charges per second in 2019, the electric constant will no longer have an exact fixed value. The value of the electron charge becomes a defined number, not measured, making mu0 a measured quantity. Consequently, ε0 will not be exact. As before, it will be defined by the equation ε0 equals 1, μ0 c2, and is thus determined by the value of μ0, the magnetic vacuum permeability which in turn is determined by the experimentally determined dimensionless fine structure constant α. ε0 equals 1 μ0 c 2 equals e 2 2 alpha h c display style var epsilon underscore 0 equals frac 1 mu underscore 0 c caret 2 equals frac e caret 2 2 alpha h c with E the exact elementary charge, H the exact Planck constant, and C the exact speed of light in vacuum. The relative uncertainty in the value of ε0 therefore would be the same as that for the dimensionless fine structure constant, 1137.0359990467 according to a new measurement. Topic Terminology. Historically, the parameter epsilon zero has been known by many different names. The terms vacuum permittivity or its variants, such as permittivity in a vacuum, permittivity of empty space, or permittivity of free space, are widespread. Standards organizations worldwide now use «electric constant» as a uniform term for this quantity, and official standards documents have adopted the term although they continue to list the older terms as synonyms. In the new SI system, the permittivity of vacuum will not be a constant anymore, but a measured quantity, related to the «measured» dimensionless fine structure constant. Another historical synonym was dielectric constant of vacuum as dielectric constant was sometimes used in the past for the absolute permittivity however in modern usage dielectric constant typically refers exclusively to a relative permittivity epsilon epsilon 0 and even this usage is considered obsolete by some standards bodies in favor of relative static permittivity hence the term dielectric constant of vacuum for the electric constant epsilon 0 is considered obsolete by most modern authors although occasional examples of continuing usage can be found as for notation the constant can be denoted by either epsilon 0 display style var epsilon underscore 0 or e0 Display style epsilon underscore zero. Using either of the common glyphs for the letter epsilon.
Topic: <laughs> Historical origin of the parameter epsilon zero. As indicated above, the parameter epsilon zero is a measurement system constant. Its presence in the equations now used to define electromagnetic quantities is the result of the so-called rationalization process described below. But the method of allocating a value to it is a consequence of the result that Maxwell's equations predict that, in free space, electromagnetic waves move with the speed of light. Understanding why epsilon zero has the value it does requires a brief understanding of the history. Rationalization of units The experiments of Coulomb and others showed that the force F between two equal point-like amounts of electricity, situated a distance r apart in free space, should be given by a formula that has the form F equals K E Q 2 R two display style f equals k underscore text e frac q caret two r caret two, where q is a quantity that represents the amount of electricity present at each of the two points, and k is Coulomb's constant. If one is starting with no constraints, then the value of k may be chosen arbitrarily. For each different choice of k, there is a different interpretation of q to avoid confusion each different interpretation has to be allocated a distinctive name and symbol in one of the systems of equations and units agreed in the late 19th century called the centimeter gram second electrostatic system of units the cgsesu system the constant k was taken equal to 1 and a quantity now called gaussian electric charge Qs was defined by the resulting equation F equals Q S two R two Displaystyle F equals FRAC Q underscore text S carrot two R carrot two the unit of Gaussian charge, the statcoulomb, is such that two units, a distance of one centimeter apart, repel each other with a force equal to the CGS unit of force, the dyne. Thus the unit of Gaussian charge can also be written one dyne half a centimeter. Gaussian electric charge is not the same mathematical quantity as modern MKS and subsequently the SI electric charge and is not measured in coulombs. The idea subsequently developed that it would be better, in situations of spherical geometry, to include a factor 4 pi in equations like Coulomb's law, and write it in the form F equals K E Q S 2 4 pi R 2 Display style f equals k underscore text e frac q underscore text s caret two four pi r caret two. This idea is called rationalization. The quantities q's and k are not the same as those in the older convention. Putting k equals one generates a unit of electricity of different size, but it still has the same dimensions as the CGSESU system. The next step was to treat the quantity representing amount of electricity as a fundamental quantity in its own right, denoted by the symbol Q, and to write Coulomb's law in its modern form. F, F equals one four pi epsilon zero Q two R two Display style f equals frac 1 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 frac q caret 2 r caret 2. The system of equations thus generated is known as the rationalized meter kilogram second equation system, or 
meter kilogram second ampere mksa equation system this is the system used to define the si units the new quantity q is given the name rmks electric charge or nowadays just electric charge Clearly, the quantity Qs used in the old CGSESU system is related to the new quantity Q by Q S equals Q four pi epsilon zero. Display style Q underscore text S equals FRAC Q S Q R T four Pi var epsilon underscore zero. Topic Determination of a value for epsilon zero. One now adds the requirement that one wants force to be measured in newtons, distance in meters, and charge to be measured in the engineer's practical unit, the coulomb, which is defined as the charge accumulated when a current of 1 ampere flows for 1 second. This shows that the parameter ε0 should be allocated the unit C2n1m2 or equivalent units, in practice, farads per meter. In order to establish the numerical value of ε0, one makes use of the fact that if one uses the rationalized forms of Coulomb's law and Ampere's force law and other ideas to develop Maxwell's equations, then the relationship stated above is found to exist between ε0, μ0 and C0. In principle, one has a choice of deciding whether to make the Coulomb or the Ampere the fundamental unit of electricity and magnetism. The decision was taken internationally to use the ampere. This means that the value of ε0 is determined by the values of C0 and μ0, as stated above. For a brief explanation of how the value of μ0 is decided, see the article about μ0. Permittivity of real media By convention, the electric constant ε0 appears in the relationship that defines the electric displacement field D in terms of the electric field E and classical electrical polarization density P of the medium. In general, this relationship has the form D equals ε0 E plus P Display style math bf d equals var epsilon underscore zero math bf e plus math bf p. For a linear dielectric, p is assumed to be proportional to e, but a delayed response is permitted and a spatially non-local response. So one has d r t equals minus infinity. T D T D three R Epsilon R T R T E R T Display style Math BF D Math BF R T equals in underscore in a T carrot T D T in D carrot three Math BF R var epsilon Math BF R T Math BF R T Math BF E Math BF R T In the event that non locality and delay of response are not important, the result is D equals Epsilon E equals Epsilon R Epsilon zero E Display style Math BF D equals var epsilon Math BF E equals var epsilon underscore text R var epsilon underscore zero Math BF E where epsilon is the permittivity and epsilon are the relative static permittivity. In the vacuum of classical electromagnetism, the polarization P 
Topic zero so epsilon r one and epsilon equals epsilon zero equals Topic See also Equals Casimir effect Relative permittivity Coulomb's law Electromagnetic wave equation ISO 31 to 5 Mathematical descriptions of the electromagnetic field Sinusoidal plane wave solutions of the electromagnetic wave equation Wave impedance. Topic Notes. <laughs>